Hey guys, so the other day I did a video on puberty, and in that video I said this. I can't help it if I look like Chewbacca. And I want to elaborate a little bit more on pubes and body hair, so let's get started. We have pretty much been groomed by society and clever advertising techniques into thinking that in order for women to be beautiful, they need to be clean shaven, and in order for men to be successful, they need to be clean shaven. And this is really not the case. This is a very modern concept because about 60 years ago, dresses started getting shorter, so legs were exposed, and then also bikinis and whatnot were coming into fashion. So basically, razor companies were like, hey, we can take advantage of this. And they started advertising to women saying, in order to be beautiful in today's society, you need to shave, you need to not have hair. And so all of a sudden there's this mad rush for women to shave because before that, for thousands of years, women never shaved. Women had hair under their arms, women had hair on their legs, but then all of a sudden that was not acceptable in society. Due to those razor companies, it's not just a push. Now women believe that they need to be hairless, that if you have hair, you're unhygienic, that if you have hair, you're not beautiful. And I'm here to say that if you have hair, it is perfectly fine and perfectly natural. Every single person has hair. Now, some people have less hair, some people have more hair, some people have dark and light hair, some people are really fine, some people are really thick. Like, the hair can differ on people, but hair is natural. It is fine whether you have it, whether you don't have it naturally. Because men can have certain hormones more than women, which is why generally men will have a little bit more hair all over their body. You get more face hair, you get more chest hair, hair on your legs, hair on your back. Generally, men will have more because of those hormones. But not all men, like my dad, doesn't really have that much hair, especially when you look at me. I am covered. But not all men will be like me. Some men will have no body hair. Some people will have more body hair. Some people have more facial hair. I mean, you look at me, I'm receding my hair. I'm losing my hair on the top of my head, but I'm gaining on my whole body. Some men grow a lot of facial hair. Some men grow very little facial hair. Some men can grow a huge ass mustache, which I am very jealous of. I'm going to have a Tom Selleck mustache. In case you don't know, boom, that. I want that. I want that. Newsflash, women have hair. Women have hair, whether it's on their legs, on their thighs, on their stomach, on their chest, hair around their nipples, they can have hair on their back, they can have hair on their face. Women can have hair. Generally, due to hormones, this hair tends to be a little bit more soft and a little bit more finer, but that doesn't have to be the case. The hair on a woman's body can equal or exceed the hair on a man's body. And you know what? And it's still perfectly normal. And then you get to the fun stuff, you get to pubes. And here's the thing, if nobody has ever told you that you're supposed to have hair in your pubic region, you're going to watch porn and you're gonna think, okay, adults shave off their pubes. And let me tell you something, no, no, you don't need to. It is not a necessity to be an adult or to look attractive to shave your pubes. Your pubes are actually there for a reason. Uh, for one, for women, they, they help protect the vulva. They actually kind of act as a barrier. In sex, they act as a kind of a cushion to stop against friction. Also, pubic hair is a sign of maturity. Don't be afraid or shamed into having to cut off your pubes. Now, it's completely your choice. Like. I definitely recommend trimming because you can have the hair, you can have all those benefits that you get from it, but then you have the benefits of oral sex. Granted, some people like a mouthful of hair during oral sex with a big bush, but I, I definitely recommend kind of trimming it down just a bit for men and for women. Having a little bit neat and organized so that if you are having oral sex, you're not getting a mouthful of hair all the time. Well, my personal view is that if a woman has pubic hair, I find her sexy. She looks womanly, she looks healthy, she looks mature. I find it very sexy. And I know there's a lot of women that feel the same way about men. It's probably one of the biggest problems that I have with it because I feel like if somebody is an adult but they shave their pubes, to me, they're resembling a prepubescent person. I just can't fathom being with somebody or having myself look like I haven't reached puberty yet. So then what happens if you're in a relationship and one person feels one way and the other person feels another way? Well, I think you need to talk about it. You need to compromise. You need to find a happy medium for both of you. Because if you're in a relationship with somebody, you should be taking their considerations into account. Uh, but no one person should be left unsatisfied and one person be fully satisfied. The main point that I want to make here is that do not be afraid of body hair. Do not feel shamed to have body hair. Do not let somebody pressure you into body hair. Understand that body hair is normal and natural, that men and women both can have body hair, and that it's perfectly fine whether you do or you don't have it. But don't let somebody else force you and don't let society pressure you and shame you. 
With that, I'm going to go. So leave comments down below what you think about pubes and body hair. I have some great videos coming up next week with other people. And I will see you guys tomorrow. So like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you tomorrow. So be safe. And um, don't shave if you don't want to. <laughs>